you have to see that miracle you have to see that change can you see it can you see it can you see it stop look at me look at me let me let me help you can I help you with something hmm? hello can I help you with this okay um have you ever seen someone with a red jacket how many of you have ever seen somebody with a red jacket a red top the jacket red how many of you wave your hand like this look around and see who else has seen someone with a red jacket look around so at least you'll be sure can you see that okay let me tell you what you just did you know what you did you used your imaginative power that's what you just did you didn't see r e d j a c k e t no you saw the image of a red jacket and probably even the image of that person on whom you saw it you immediately imagine the jacket and what it looks like because i didn't say a red skirt and i didn't say a red trousers right it was a jacket so you use your imagination so even if you close these two eyes you would have still seen what you were seeing am i right listen you can see with these two eyes do you have eyes okay touch your eye let me see okay okay you know it those two eyes can only see the things that are already existing these two eyes in your head they can only see the things that are already existing hmm? are you following me the one you used just now in seeing to the past at a jacket you saw some time ago whether an hour ago or last year the eyes you used just now they are the eyes of your soul can you see that they are the eyes of your soul so they are in your imagination the mind the will and the emotions are in the soul are you following what i'm telling if you miss this it might take you a long time to get it again okay then your spirit has eyes those eyes only see what god shows them you can't use them when you want to because they are not for this world they are for the spirit world they only see what god shows them and when god empowers them to see so you can't use them by yourself but there are two that you can control this one you can open them and see oh that's a loudspeaker there oh that you can see that you can see me with this one and you can turn your head to see something over there you control them to see what already exists but the one you used just now you can use to see the past the present and you can use to see something that does not exist are you hearing me listen to what i'm telling you and why i'm telling you this so important you can use it to see what you want to see so when you see something you don't like i'm talking about those eyes of your soul all right when you see something you don't like you change the image simply by changing your mind then you try again to see what you want to see then you may be interrupted by something else that you don't like stop and change the image again 
and then see make out in your in that eye that soul vision make out what you want to see again now when you make it out hold it if you if you like what you are seeing make what you want to see use what you call your imagination are you hearing me imagine it focus on it once that is what you like hold it are you hearing that hold what you want to see if you like you can write it what you are seeing you say i see this write it down then every time you take it you read what you saw then you say i see whatever it is then continue to focus and give it some time every day listen if you do what i just told you if you do it it will take you to where god has always wanted you a creator did you ever read the small book recreating your world there's a little bit of this there but what i just told you don't forget it you need it if you learn to use this in prayer nothing can be held back from you so that's what i was saying to you that's one of the that's one of the real uh benefits of prayer prayer helps us to lift ourselves to use our soul eyes to create visions you see there are visions that god gives you those are for the spirit eyes there are visions that you can create by your soul eyes then there are visions that are for things that already exist those physical eyes that's their limitation so when you pray use your soul eyes to create them and when you create them then you are ready to use your rhema hold it until it becomes so real when it becomes so real nothing can take it from you because you have created it if it doesn't exist in the soul realm you may never find it in the physical realm practice it don't wait until god gives you a vision use your soul to create the vision your imaginative power is your creative ability